Hey y'all and welcome to another week of Game Over News. Today we have how the Korok Forest and Kakariko Village in Breath of the Wild were almost in one another's locations, a mistaken listing of a Breath of the Wild mobile game, and an interesting theory about who would win in an arm wrestling contest. Bowser or a Lionel? And last week's question was, what is your favorite Zelda game? To which Bao, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, answered that their favorite are the Oracle games, saying that they don't get enough love. And personally, I would love a Link's Awakening remake of those games since they were created in the same style as the original Link's Awakening. So, solid answer, I think. This week's question is, name a song from The Legend of Zelda that always gives you chills. Now, chills can be because it's so epic or because it's so creepy. However you want to take that. Comment below and we'll read one of your answers next week. Stay to the end of the video if you want to hear my answer to this question. And with that, I'm your host, The Geek Apprentice. Now let's get started. Coming from Go Nintendo, it was revealed in an interview that the original locations of Kakariko Village and the Korok Forest in Breath of the Wild were switched. Pun totally intended. Not much was said about why they made the decision to swap the locations other than some developers in charge of terrain made the suggestion toward the end of the game's making, and everyone agreed that it was a good idea. Just try to imagine those areas switched up. I mean, I can get with Kakariko being that secluded, but Korok Forest that close to the Divine Beast Baruta? Eh. I don't know how I feel about that. Now, if you're like me and headed straight to Kakariko Village because that's what King Rome told you to do, oh, that would have been quite the trek. Some weird Microsoft mistake has a mobile game listed as The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild coming soon. Containing a picture of the English Breath of the Wild Switch case cover, as well as a description that's written in pretty broken English, this is a pretty interesting goof, to say the least. It kind of describes the game as being similar to Tomb Raider and something about collecting coins and gems. I don't know. This is crazy, and it's taken Microsoft quite a bit to get the developers to remove that listing. We know Nintendo has briefly mentioned the possibility of a Zelda mobile game, originally saying they would never do that, but now saying they might. And the idea just sounds hideous to me, but I definitely doubt that it would be a port of Breath of the Wild. Last week, a video was released by the Masked Nintendo Bandit theorizing who would win in an arm wrestling contest, a Lionel from Breath of the Wild or Bowser from the Mario franchise. The premise for this video is quite funny, and both his writing and his execution do not fail to entertain. I don't want to give away all the best bits of his video, however, so be sure to click the link in the description below, taking you to his theory so you can check it out yourself. The answer may not be what you think it is. So that's all for this week. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this Game Over news and follow Game Over Jesse and the Highland Gamescast on both Instagram and Twitter. By the way, my answer to this week's question might be somewhat predictable if you've seen my video highlighting the most atmospheric Zelda dungeon music, but anyway, it is the theme for the Forest Temple in Ocarina of Time. While the Shadow Temple is definitely scary, the Forest Temple is more eerie, haunted, and chilling it never ceases to send a cold chill down my spine. Once again, thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next Game Over News.